All right, what's good, man? Y'all know what it is. It's your boy Rob back. Another video, man. Me and Fee hanging out right now, getting her some sweets from Walmart, man. I said, you know, let me go ahead and turn this camera on before it gets too late so I can knock this video out for my people. Y'all see, I'm still looking rough in the face right now because uh, I know I just did all that overtime or whatever. Which ones you want? Yeah, she don't, she don't even really want that, for real. I'm going to get her something different. Even though that's what she's saying she won't. She ain't going to eat them. Hold on. So she's been at my mom's all week. And um, her mom is out of town. So I said, well, let me go ahead and go get her today. Yeah. I need that DC. Yeah, so she's been at my mom's all week. Um doing whatever so my mom kept her her mom is out of town or whatever which is dope man my mom is a real dope grandma uh and a great grandma because you know my kids got kids too she watched my daughter's daughter um but yeah so i got her i'm gonna keep her tonight and we just gonna hang out chase is actually with his he with his cousin he was at his sister's house Stay dead, well, yeah, go ahead. You don't um, gotta hold the camera. I got you. I'll be your cameraman. Um. So my birthday just passed, and dear wife John, you didn't see my birthday, but dear wife John, and say happy birthday to me right now. Yeah, tell me to watch your birthday video. Watch my birthday video. All right, let me get over here in the light real quick. I had to step outside, man. Phoenix is driving me crazy in the house, y'all. Let me see if I can get this a little lighter for y'all. Hold on. All right. That's about as bright as it's going to get. So, listen. The last couple of days, I've been working like a mm -mm, right? I work Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, man. I put in 16 hours Wednesday and Thursday, and then I went back in today for another eight hours. So, I did three days of overtime. Which got me tired as all get out, right? But with that being said, man, it's cool. I've been telling you, well, you know, I've been, y'all know I've been doing these videos, so I've been telling y'all about, you know, a school time, kids going back to school trying to get that paper right. But listen, I ain't gonna talk to you, I ain't gonna talk to y'all about no more dad stuff today. Uh, we ain't gonna get into that. This is what I wanna say, man. Something I had to learn was patience, right? And through like a lot of the stuff that I've been going through right now, through a bunch of trials and tribulations from a bunch of like rushing, bumping my head, making a lot of mistakes, trying to move too fast. I didn't learn to be patient, which is crazy to me. Like I ain't never been a patient type of person ever in my life. I'm sitting in the middle of the street. If y'all don't know, I like way stay in the hood. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. But I'm learning patience crazy, like at my age, you know what I mean? Like, you know, I think it's a good thing. It definitely ain't a bad thing, right? But right now, I'm more patient than I've ever been in my life. And it seems like stuff come fast to me now. I can remember being young and wanting to hurry up and rush shit. And it seemed like it would still take forever for it to come. But now when like something is like, something is like a week out for me. I ain't got anxiety about it. I ain't tripping about it or nothing, right? So I'm going to tell y'all why I'm talking about this having patience. And like, you know, sometimes things work out the way that they work out. And the weight makes those things that work out for you even greater, man. I try to even talk to my kids. Like, don't, or not just my kids, but kids in general. Don't rush life. Because I can remember being like 18. I couldn't wait to turn 21. Just so I can go to the club and drink and buy alcohol and shit like that. But then when I finally was old enough to go to the clubs and go out. I realized it wasn't nothing in the streets for me. Like wasn't nothing in them, in them clubs. I didn't have fun. I didn't enjoy myself. I don't dance. Like I'm not a dancer. And for real, for real, I'm really not a drinker. And I can drink at home and kick it at home with my family and friends. You feel what I'm saying? 
um, I can remember wanting to hurry up. I can remember wanting to hurry up and graduate and get out of school, high school. I Man, I couldn't wait till I didn't have to go to school no more, right? But them were some of the best days of my life, and I miss that. And, and sometimes I wish I could go back to like being 16 and 15, no bills, you know, a little job, putting a little bit of money in my pocket. Gas was like, and I could fill my whole damn tank up for like $10 and shit. You know what I mean? Like versus what's going on now to where I got all these responsibilities. I got the weight of the world on my shoulders, you know, and, and, I, and I accept the challenge, though, no doubt. But ultimately, though, man, you know, it's a it's I just wish I would have spent more time and been a lot more patient about growing up versus being in a rush to grow up so i try to tell that to my kids like man don't be in a rush to be an adult because as soon as you become an adult the shit that you got going on in your life man ain't no ain't, it really ain't no i can't take no days off because even in my leisure even when i'm chilling i'm still thinking about getting money man i'm still get, thinking about getting money um so at the end of the day man I appreciate everything that had happened to me in my life that it made me humble, but also that has made me willing to sit back, chill, and not, you know what I mean, be impatient. I don't think it's a saying called patience is a virtue. And I really didn't understand what the hell that means. And I really probably still don't, un don't know what patience is a virtue mean. But I do know this, though. I do know not rushing and wanting instant gratification has made me respect and appreciate the things that's happened in my life a lot more also i do know that the things that i go through while i'm waiting for the great things that happen in my life pay raises um you know whatever is going on in my life now i'm talking when i say patience that's the things i'm talking about like things that's like actually helping me uh elevate in life you know when those things do happen in my life man i'm more appreciative of that happening and I think, you know, people who get stuff instantly and get stuff fast, I'm not sure if they really actually appreciate the things that's happening to them. You know what I mean? And when it's taken away from them, I don't know if they care as much as somebody who waited, earned it, and got it. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm talking about several different things, but I'm talking about one thing, that, and I'm talking about everything in one, and that's patience, man. No different than, like, you know, waiting my turn in this youtube game i know it's gonna come a time where my videos is gonna do crazy numbers i know it's gonna come a time where i'm gonna do crazy vlogs you know traveling doing stuff with my kids just spending a whole day vlogging throw an hour vlog out for y'all that's entertaining right but i gotta be patient i gotta build my subscribers up i gotta give y'all content where y'all can understand who it is that y'all watching i gotta talk to y'all i gotta tell y'all my story before we get there so i gotta be patient with this man but with that being said, man, I'm gonna get back in this house, chill with my daughter, man. It's just me and her tonight, man. And um, you know, it is what it is, man. I appreciate y'all for tapping in every damn day, though, man. Every day that y'all watch this, man, I appreciate it, man, for sure. I know it's been a couple of short videos. I'm gonna get to some longer content, man. I'm just, you know, these last three days I've been tired as hell, working real crazy, trying to get my money together. Um, it ain't been easy, man. Three hours of sleep, three and a half hours of sleep going back, you know, because it's a split shift. My shift and then the shift I've been covering don't go right. Be they don't, uh, they're not consecutive. So it's like an hour or two between my regular shift and this shift. So, you know, I mean, it's a little hard, but for the money that I'm making, man, it's definitely well worth it. And to talk, and to y'all people who talk about the Uber stuff, let me address the Uber people real quick. I work the day of overtime at my job. The amount of money I make for my certifications as well as my CDLs and my hourly rate, I made I made about three times as much as you would make driving Uber for eight hours in one day, man. One day. That's why I was talking about like Uber just isn't worth it. And that was like I wasn't riding in my car. I wasn't uh, I wasn't creating I wasn't creating unnecessary maintenance outside of the maintenance that I already create driving it. You know what I'm saying? Um, and at my job, I really don't do a lot. You know what I mean? It's a lot of downtime. I sit, I sit, I sit more than I really work. I shouldn't, maybe shouldn't be saying that, but we sit more than we work. So, um, for me, that's why Uber ain't worth it, man. 
Like I see people in my comments still talking about Uber this and Uber that and it's cool and I ain't really tripping about y'all's comments, man. Keep commenting because like I said, for some people, Uber worked for them. The one dude was calling me boss man or whatever, like saying I was looking for a pity party. Now I'm not looking for a pity party. I'm just giving my, my experience as an Uber driver, not your experience as an Uber driver. You feel what I'm saying? So it is what it is. But yeah, let me get back in here to my daughter, man. I'm going to get up out of here. I appreciate y'all for tapping in, man. Y'all know what it is. Rob, every day.